the opening video clip to this volume of uh, my YouTube channel shows the sampling of a throat sample of a trout taken during the peak of a chronomid hatch in the early afternoon. As you can see from the clip, there are a number of bugs dancing around inside that test tube. Uh, it illustrated, I thought, one of the flies that I came across last summer, uh, then utilized through pretty much the fall. Uh, I wish I had remembered where I first ran across the fly, but it's essentially an anti-static bag uh, type of fly with a holographic cranberry rib. And uh, I've done a little bit of modification on it. Uh, this video kind of will tell you a little bit about some of those things. Uh, the ingredients are, in this case, uh, it was first uh, presented as a size 16 2X long hook. That's the uh, number 1760 Daiichi number 16. That's a 2X long hook. Uh, it, it works well and it's a strong hook and I use it. Uh, I've decided also to tie it on this hook, which is a uh, Tiemco 2499BL uh, in a size 12. Uh, you'll see from uh, the, the uh, still shot of the variations on this theme, uh, the uh, 2499 in uh, a 12 is roughly equivalent to the size 16 of the 1760. Likewise, the size 14 in the 2X long hook is roughly equivalent to a size 10 of the Tiemco 2499. So in the vise is a size 12, 2499 Tiemco. Um, I'm using a white 38, uh, not 3, it's 332 uh, bead. Uh, you can also tie it with uh, a brown bead or, or, or not. Um, I happen to like this white bead, particularly in some of the algae stained uh, waters that we have here in the Inland Northwest. The, it's, it's a simple fly. The, the, the thread is, uh, the, the body thread is UTC uh, Ultra Thread 70 Denier in white. Uh, I use white because uh, it doesn't color up the underside of the antistatic bag body. You can, by altering the colors of the thread, alter the, the color of the body, but I wanted to fly that, uh, had that kind of shiny, uh, glistening color that you could see from the video, opening video clip. The body is made of antistatic bag material. Uh, you can see the, the antistatic bag. Um, this is a sheet taken from an anti-static bag. I've cut it to, to uh, sizes where I can use it. You cut it really thin, approximately 0.75 millimeters. Uh, you can also buy them now uh, pre-cut and in a, in a variety of shades. Um, that, that certainly makes it easier, but um, I happen to have so much anti-static bag material around. Uh, <laughs> because I was collecting it all when, when anti-static bags first came out. You can see from this pill box or pill jar that I've cut a bunch of the strips out and uh, have them ready for tying. The rib is a simple uh, uh, holographic cranberry, a flashaboo, uh, which is number 69. Let me get that precise number for you. And here it is. It's uh, holographic cranberry flashable number 6942. And you can see that it, it does now, in some instances, laminate together. So you just have to be careful to pull the strand off. So what I do is I Start the thread, grab a, uh, a fiber of the uh, cranberry flasher boom, and tie that in at the head, winding it down to the bend uh, alongside the hook, the hook shank, and it allows for a smoother body all the way down. So we'll get that going here.
and they're sticking to my hand. So we tie in that holographic flasher pool alongside the hook shank, take it down. I like to wind it on these hooks a little bit past the bend, right to about there. I take it over for a half turn to the opposite side of the hook, securing it there. Then I cut just a, a, a short section to make a V or a triangular portion of the anti-static bag material on about an angle about like that. A little bit sharper. And tend to wrap that with the one catching wrap right there. Secure it down, wind the thread forward to the eye of the hook. Turn, it, turn the bobbin counterclockwise to take any sort of kinking out of the thread. Wind that thread back approximately two thirds down the shank. To about there, we'll come back up. Nice touching turns if you can, it makes a smoother body. The stuff is the anti static back stuff is pretty slick, so it falls into crevices in the thread if you don't have a smooth underbody. So we'll, we'll counterclockwise the thread again, come down two thirds of our last wrap to about there, back to the eye of the hook, a couple more spins counterclockwise, back two thirds and come back to behind the, the uh, eye of the hook. Take our anti-static bag in nice, close, touching turns. The nice thing about this is if you, uh, or the, the, the dangerous thing about this is if you don't have those nice, close, touching turns, then what happens is the, uh, the flash of boob will slide into any valleys and crevices. So you need to make that as smooth as possible. Once you have the, the body tied on, I take a couple of whip finishes because what I try to do is put a, a collar of brown, rust brown thread to simulate the, the gills on the natural. Take those turns, trim that off. Attach our rust brown UTC thread in 70 denier or denier. Trim that off. And one of the things I found when you have a slick surface and you're trying to wrap around a slick body, it's nice to just add a touch, touch of your touch of your UV resin or super glue or Sally Hansen's, whatever you choose to use to coat your flies. Put a little bit of that on top. It helps keep the rib from sl slipping and sliding around. I take a turn around the base. Get that thread out of the way. So maybe a couple turns. And we'll get that going up the shank. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven turns. Catch that with the collar. Trim it close. And we'll whip finish again to create our rust brown collar, which looks a whole bunch like the, the wing pads you saw in those early clips. And we'll just do another couple turns there to get that secure. Trim it up close. And apply our final touch of UV resin. In this case, I'm using Solaris or Solar Res. I like to get that on there. Over the shank. Then I take my little cork with the toothpick stuck in to make sure it's smoothly, this is a real high-tech operation, uh, 
make sure it's smoothly spread out over the body. You apply it with a lamp or secure it with a lamp, UV lamp, and you can see uh, precisely what we've got going here. And this is uh, the fly for today's lesson. Variations on the theme, because as you can tell from the opening video clip, the, the bugs also seem to have a brownish or reddish brownish rib. In that case, if you really want to be even more specific, I use either uh, copper brown, uh, UTC small copper brown, or UT small, UTC small in, in amber. Both of those will also make excellent ribs. Hope you enjoyed the video for today. I've got another one coming up in a couple weeks uh, dealing with some more insects found in some of the throat samples from around here. Thanks for watching. Bye.